Hey guys, thank you for joining another episode of Mukbang with your host, Dong Diggity. Today, I'm gonna try to make a red pepper tuna sandwich. Because you know, you tried the regular tuna sandwich, right? That normally where people sell, but I never tried the one that's made with gochu chamchi. You could pick this up easily at like a Korean market or any Asian market. It's a canned tuna, but made with like a red pepper. So it's a little spicy. Cause I like spicy. Yeah, ooh. So I melted a cheese on top of it and toasted it a little bit. So it'll be extra and some mayo. And spread it. Hope you guys had a great, great, great new year and a holiday. Sorry, I worked out too hardcore today because I haven't worked out for the past two days since we were celebrating so hardcore. So my arms are shaky right now. Oh my god, my arms. So these are made with mozzarella. This one is a Parmesan cheese and I'm gonna try to empty this out. <laughs> so usually my routine for workouts are morning and night so morning i do more of weightlifting or work with weights um usually i do more of circuit kind of weightlifting nothing too crazy heavy and towards the night, literally like three, four hours before I sleep, I try to put another workout in by doing a cardio. And lately I've been into this whole cycling thing because my legs been hurting when I try to run. So yeah, but anywho, let's eat this. I'm gonna try it. I wonder how it tastes. Mm. Yep, I could do that. It does not taste like uh, your regular tuna. It's also probably because I didn't put any. I don't know, everyone has different tuna sandwich. So they have many different kinds, right? Just regular, which is just tuna. Right? And then they have like a vegetable with little 
greens inside and this one's a red pepper one. So, the New Year's, we went snowboarding, right? To also celebrate one of my um, really close friend, who's a little bit older than me, but he just had a birthday. His birthday is on January 1st, and also Kimmy's brother and I is also January 1st. So we had to drive down to Champagne, Urbana. Which is not, not bad of drive, like around two hours there and two hours back, right? And then, so we went, let's see, we went two days before New Year and we visited their family, went to Urbana Champagne, U of I. And drove back, no problem, right? A bit tired, but no problem. And the next day, we drove to Wisconsin. That's about three hour and like five minutes, three hour, five minutes. On the way, we had to drop off Ahmed to a daycare. Then we will be gone for so long. So we dropped him off and we had to Wisconsin. And we snowboarded a little bit. It was fun. And then we thought we were gonna come back. But it started snowing. And I was like, okay, whatever, we could drive back. But it was snowing, like it just dumped. It wasn't like tiny, it was boom. We couldn't even drive. And then in Wisconsin, the like where that near snowboard area, usually there's nothing nearby besides farms and stuff. So it's like all hills up and down, up and down. And then snow is like this much. Our car could not even go up the hill. So pretty much we were stranded. What are we supposed to do? Hi. And my baby here was still at daycare. And Kimmy insisted that we drive back another three and a, oh, three and a, like four or five minutes, but now it's probably extended to like five, six hours because of the snow so I was kind of freaking out but luckily my friend got a cabin and stuff so we decided to crash with them which is very kind of them so yeah that was our our new year and we, yeah we had to board him but he may insist that since we won't be there, we have to give him like one of the best room at a dog hotel. I agreed. It was pretty expensive, but it's like 130 bucks per night. But it had like a nice big room for himself with a couch, um, with like a little bed, with a TV. So. Yeah, he had super luxurious life. Mm. 
Any New Year's resolution for you guys? So my new year, new year, so my new year's resolution is to swear less, because I do have a potty mouth, naughty mouth, and a soap. No. So I'm trying. This sandwich is really good actually. I don't mind making it for like a snack, like or for even a picnic or like a quick lunch. You know, I might make it so you could have some snack on the snowboarding trip. It's such a simple and it's tasty. I love it. Whoop! Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day.